We investigate intensity, variability and rhythm of the process of life in each of the dramaturgies of self. In the narrative self, attention stays on conceptual reality. In the morphic self, we perceive the process of life as a collection of objects. In the submorphic self, we perceive it as a flux of sensations. This is a dynamic system. Each dramaturgy may have tendency to change into another. In the narrative dramaturgy, awareness is immersed in a spaceless experience of storylines. In the morphic dramaturgy, awareness consists of the series of cognitive acts that separate objects in the space of the stream of attention. In the submorphic dramaturgy, non-conceptual experience becomes process and not object-centered. One way to enter submorphic worlds is to attune attention to the four elements – earth, water, air and fire. While working with earth element, for example, we give attention to its two characteristics – hardness and softness. Try hardness. Clinch your teeth and now release them. The sensation you experience right now in your mouth is definition of hardness. Now that you feel the definition of hardness, you can scan your body and see where hardness can be found. Attuning to the process of life is questioning self as our identity. By studying and exercising our codependence to the rest of the process of life. In submorphic dramaturgy, learned ethics is replaced by spontaneous compassion, by giving up the world as a collection of separate objects and thus breaking egocentric barriers. A deep tranquility emerges in our field of experience, facilitating access to ataraxia. But this is not the end. The practice of conscious attuning to the three dramaturgies of self will result in emergence of the fourth state of experience, which is neither somewhere in space nor spaceless, a state which I call the unaffected. But this is a completely different story.